Good evening, little Jonah family. It's little Jonah here, back with another video. Alright, so today's not a rap video. No Freestyle Friday. Later I will, but not today. But, um, today's video, you know, Jesus spoke to me, and I, I haven't really been talking to him, but I do want to talk to him again. Gotta start talking again. You know, Jesus said, he I talked to him during work today, and he said, Jonah, make a video about what I do for forgiveness and preach be your own pastor on YouTube you know he wanted me to preach on this forgiveness a little serious and there's gonna be different series every week I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to upload more so make sure I do subscribe hit the bell and uh yeah so before we get into that before I'm gonna be like my pastors at my church before I preach I like to pray now, bear with me. I'm, just, I'm not gonna make it a long prayer, but I haven't. But I'm, I'm gonna confess something. I haven't really been talking to God. Okay, I, I just thought I had a lot of stress on my mind. I should have. I should have let God have it. I should have opened up to God because, yeah, I'm 18. But like, come on, what have I done? And let's just pray right now, dear God. Thank you for this day, Lord. Uh, thank you for getting me back into the word of your word of God. Jesus, I'm sorry for the mistakes I made. And, uh, yeah, God, I pray, and I'm praying that today you will help me to change somebody's life. To help me to grow as a Christian. God, get me back into your word. God, I pray that someone's life on this video will be changed today. And help me to, and help, use me, God. Use me to touch somebody's life. Amen. So, I'm going to ask a question. And this is for YouTube purposes. It's not like I'm in an actual church, but yeah. I'm going to ask a question. And you guys can comment down below. So this video will be on YouTube. Alright. How many, now... If the parents are watching this video, and let's say if you're, or if you have a brother or sister, let's say this. How many of you guys, when you got mad at somebody, how many of you guys, when you got mad at somebody, you said something really rude to them, disrespectful, but you didn't mean it? I've done that before too. I've done it with friends, I've done it with my mom, my dad, my sister. How many of you guys, I bet we've all said something to, and even parents, you've said something to your kids, something nasty to your kids when you're angry that you didn't mean. How many guys did that? I did that, even though I don't have kids. <laughs> but, um, yeah. We see in this world today, people forgive and forget. People hold the grudge. You know, it's like, you know, I don't know, it's like, People trying to, you know, confront other people. Let me tell you a story. I'm going to tell you guys a story. There was, when I was young, um, you know, I, I made a lot of mistakes. You know, I'm not perfect. You know, it's not like I got, I got a, I'm Jesus, I'm perfect, you know. Let me tell you a story. Picture this. 2019. It's the middle of January. <laughs> it's already 2019. It's the middle of January, right? My sister Micah was trying to go to work. She got a day off. She wanted to go visit a friend, but it was negative winter cold outside. It was negative cold outside. And um, her car wouldn't start. So it's below negative five right or whatever it was below zero below the windshield as my dad father would say <laughs> my dad would say um my dad and i and her something was wrong with the car we couldn't even push it and yes i like to tell stories for my, my my bible verse so anyway um we were really getting struggling trying to push the car you know it somehow it wouldn't start I don't know why I wouldn't start even with cold or winter or something like that, but 
we're trying to push the car, and my sister asked me to clean something up. And she and I was like, can't you do it yourself? And she got mad because, like, you know, she, she wanted me to do a favor for her, and I really didn't want to do it. So I had an anger issue, and I called her a lot of names, but I still remember that day. And I... And she was mad, and, you know, it, it took her a while to calm down, you know. It took her, it was going to take her a while to calm down. But, and the two days later, we got past it. You know, and I, and I, and I told her, you know, the things I said to you, I didn't mean it. You got to understand, I was just angry at the time. You know, I, you know, I got to watch my words, because words can hurt. And, you know, the words I said, I didn't mean to say it. You know, at the time, I was just angry, but... You know, I gotta remember, words can hurt, and they can stay forever. You know, Jesus, yeah, I mean, look at him, you know. People reject him, people make fun of him, and it's like, you know, you gotta realize, words can hurt people. What you say stays there. So... I got a little Bible verse. And I want you guys to know. You gotta forgive people, okay? You have to have to forgive people. You know, it's time to forgive people, you know. If you keep confronting them about it and you don't forgive, your friendship's gonna end, and I'm sorry, but it's true. I got a verse. Proverbs 17, verse 9. Forgive someone. You will grow your friendship. If you keep confronting them, you will destroy that friendship. Listen, the people who are your friends, whenever you get into a fight, an argument, whatever, don't hold on to that. You gotta, it's the past. Let it go. You know, there's gonna be times in life where people are gonna do us wrong. There's going to be friends that turn their back on us. There's going to be friends that prank you, play jokes on you. There's going to be people who do that all the time, all right? You got to realize that, you know, God's in the Bible, we're supposed to forgive each other. Not the people who are nice, not just the people who are nice to us. You know, you got to start forgiving people. You know, for, we all make mistakes, but forgiveness will go a long way. If you forgive, it comes a long way. You know, forgiveness, Jesus forgave us for our sins. He did. He literally forgave us for our sins. You know, there's a verse saying, all have sinned. You don't think and God's going to leave us? He's never going to leave us. You think if you sinned five times, you... People are, when I was young, and I'm going to be honest, people, I said, oh no, what, if I sin, well, God, God's going to leave me, he, he's going to forget me, he's never going to come back for me, but no, he's still here for me, because he loves me, he's not like the, the people at my school who, who just like turn their backs on me and hate, hating on me, no, he's love support, he's Everything we need to come together and we need to understand that God is more important in life. He should be your bees, the best friend, amen. See, God should be our number one, our number one, everything. He should be your number one best friend because God. God's got everything. He's got everything under control, right? And I want to let you guys know that God can do anything, all right? And I want you guys to know, forgive one another. God will forgive you, too. You know, what are you going to do in this world when you grow up and you're at work? And, there's, and people are going to do you wrong. You know, if you're if someone gets mad at you at work, like a customer, cause I'm working at Taco Bell right now. I get customers angry sometimes because sometimes they get the wrong order, or or people screw it up. 